Hello, my name is Christina Lavecchia and welcome to Intermediate Composition, um, Section 16. This is the semester length version of the course, 2089, um, and it will run during the first mini session, summer 2013. The purpose of the video that you're now viewing is just to give you a quick overview of our course online classroom on the Blackboard site in order to get a more detailed overview of our course content, um, assignments, expectations, grading, and all of that good jazz, um, there will be a separate video uploaded to the syllabus section of our Blackboard site that you can view um, to kind of get the same first day spiel I would give um, on the first day in a face-to-face -face classroom. Um, so I want to give you a quick, um, again, quick and dirty uh, tour of our Blackboard site. So of course, um, I am going to assume that all of you have had at least one course in the past that has used Blackboard at UC in some capacity. So you're probably familiar with the fact that the toolbar on the left hand side here is the main navigational hub for the course. Um, what you may not also know is that the other option for um, navigation is not only to use this toolbar, but also to make use of what's called the breadcrumbs up here. Um, you'll see that if you start clicking folders and you kind of want to just go one folder back, it can sometimes be faster to use the breadcrumbs at the top of the page instead of having to go back to a button here and navigate back through several layers of folders again. So just a quick tip to maybe give you um, a less a a a uh, an experience navigating the course that involves slightly less frustration. Um, so the big friendly start here label. Um, is hopefully a pretty clear indication that this is the place to get started when entering our course for the first time. In fact, the video that you're viewing will be posted at the top of the Start Here page, just here. Um, I've also included in this area of the course a link to the course syllabus, which will be posted here, as well as some uh, resources for distance learners. Some of you may be used to taking classes online here at UC, and for some of you, this could very well be your first online course. Either way, I have compiled some resources for you. Um, if you click this Info and Help for Distance Learning, you'll find not only um, Help for Blackboard, also an indication of um, what the workload's like in an online course, tips for success in an online course, um, and also more specific um, etiquette guidelines that are helpful for keeping in mind when working with others in an online space. Um, this is a very interactive course, or at least it is when I teach it face-to-face, -face, and I expect it to remain so in, an, in its online setting. Um, so you'll be com uh, communicating with your classmates and with me um, substantially. So it's important to think about how it is that you're going about doing that. Um, you know, thinking about Things like typing in all capital letters kind of makes it look like you're shouting. Um, you know, uh, reading back through your postings so that they're easier for us to read. Um, you know, making sure they're not too redundant. Um, making sure that your tone comes through pretty clearly. Um, things like sarcasm sometimes don't come through very clearly in a textual environment. So please do give a little bit of extra thought to the ways in which you're writing um, when you're communicating with others in the course. Um, before I go back to the uh, Start Here button proper, I want to also quickly preview this Blackboard help area. Um, there's some, some of this information perhaps is kind of basic and understood for some of you, but there also might be some helpful tips in here even for um, those of you who feel you have a lot of experience using Blackboard. Um, for instance, uh, these tutorials on the discussion board might really help you to navigate it more quickly. Things like um, collecting threads so that they all read on one page instead of having to click to open each one individually, um, being able to look at only the new posts when you go back to visit, that kind of thing. It can really save you some time and energy. So you may want to consider looking through a couple of these tutorials here, even if you feel that you're really familiar with the discussion board and Blackboard. It might be good to have a refresher. So let's use the breadcrumbs and go back to the Start Here button again. The last two things I'll point out on this page are that the Writing Center um, at UC is open during the summer and they do work with distance learners. 
Um, and I do want to emphasize that the Writing Center isn't just a place for um, people who need remedial help with their writing or feel that they're bad writers, but really it's for any writer who wants extra feedback on their work and extra help um, for, producing, for producing stronger writing. Um, so if you click the link here that I've um, embedded into the text description, that's a document that gives you um, a really clear step-by-step -step set of instructions for signing up for online um, tutorial uh, appointments um, with screenshots of what the screen looks like and everything. So um, that's there to help guide you through that process if you haven't yet done that. The library has also put together a resource page that um, kind of outlines ways in which to make use of library resources as a distance learner. So that should be useful to look through as well. Um, so the syllabus page, so the course information page is all of the important information about the course. So we have the start here button that we've just looked through. Announcements, of course, you should be familiar with that as well. That's where the course annou announcements will be posted. I will try to use that for um, any really essential information so that it both comes through email and also is um, there on the course site for you to see. And the syllabus will be here as well, as well as um, a little bit of information about me. Um, so the main content of our course is located in this second area here, course content. So if you click on course units, um, this is still under construction as I'm making this video, but um, you'll see that the three major units that we're working on this semester are all available here under the course units button. So I do want you to work through these units in order. Um, and we'll be working through them one at a time. The first unit will be literacy, so that'll be what we'll be working on the first week and into the beginning of the second week. Um, and top of the page here is just a reminder to make sure you've looked at that start here button first. So on each page, you'll notice sometimes, um, or at least on this first module, there's one discussion board post um, where I'm just asking you to introduce yourself to the class. So it's not necessarily linked to um, the unit itself. But within each unit page, then you'll notice folders for each lesson. And then within each of those folders, you'll find our videos, links to discussion board assignments, um, link, uh, files to download for readings. So this is where all of the um, course lectures, course readings, and the links to the activities are. So really, um, when you go to complete each module, this is where you head. Um, course units, that's where all of the stuff lives basically. Um, and uh, so that's a really central main component of the course, course units. The sandbox, this is an area um, where you'll find extra writing help or exercises, links to current events that relate to what we're doing in the class, um, items of interest. Basically this is a place um, it's not graded work, so if I post readings here, they're not required. If I post activities, they're not required, nor are they graded. Um, but it might be helpful for you, um, you know, trying to get down some of the, you know, theoretical ideas we're working with this semester and, you know, some of the um, new terminology. It might be helpful to take a look through these, and I'll refer to them throughout the course um, in my course lectures and so forth. Um, this is just kind of a good place to play around with ideas and, and figure some things out. So the other uh, areas of the course uh, on the toolbar here are the tools section. Um, so this is all just Blackboard tools. I've made some handy links to the discussion board, the blog, and um, email, so you don't have to dig for those. But anything else you need can be gotten through tools and communication. And then at the bottom we have resources. So the top resource is writing help, and here I'll have links to um, helpful websites that have reference information on the writing process, or on uh, citations and formatting, or on grammar, um, also possibly some interactive exercises. And then help and FAQ, um, this is where you should go if you need help with Blackboard or using the course in some way. And I urge you to look at this first before contacting me with a question because it might be that your question is answered by doing just a little bit of light research um, to kind of look into the problem. Because the course is online, um, 
part of the course requirements is that you have um, a basic knowledge of how to use Blackboard. And I'm not asking you to do anything incredibly complicated with Blackboard this semester. But should you have any difficulty using Blackboard, um, I ask you to either try using the online tutorials available through Blackboard Help or contacting UCIT uh, before emailing me to, to try to work out your problem using those resources available to you as much as you can. I'm of course happy to help you with your questions, but it does help me not to answer the same question a few times over or not to answer very basic questions that can be easily answered through a tutorial and to instead uh, point you to those resources. Um, UCIT in particular can be helpful. Um, they have staff um, that uh, answer the phone or answer email. So that can be a really useful resource for you if you have a question that you're not quite sure how to address by searching through the tutorials available on the Blackboard Help website. So that's a basic overview of our course and how it's structured. Um, I will I've endeavored to make the course um, as clear as possible. Um, I suppose the last thing I'll mention is that when you're looking at the course units, each item listed in the module um, in, in, in each um, lesson, each area, will have the due date listed at the bottom of the assignment itself. Some of those due dates um, are also appear on your syllabus, but they're also there on Blackboard, and that's the place to kind of zero in on, make sure you're keeping those deadlines straight. So um, please uh, get in touch through the discussion board forum for questions or um, by emailing me if questions arise, and I look forward to working with you this semester. Thanks.